It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Panthers and the Dolphins coming up next. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we were set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels, and we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Brandon Gordon alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. And CD, our quarterbacks taking center stage here for each of their respective offenses. And Brandon, I think each one might be trying to play some form of keep away from the other because when you think about time of possession and what that means in a game, it's great if you're able to hold on to the football and run your offense at your pace. And it also helps to keep the other guy's offense on the sideline. That's your goal for the game. Special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. And Marino's throw there incomplete. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They've got to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Second and ten, Marino once more. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Now Marino. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Clayton. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and ten. So here are the Panthers under head coach Matt Rule, and they'll be led out by the NFL's most valuable player from 2015, it's Cam Newton. And many people are having difficulty pegging exactly what they believe Cam Newton is at this point in his career. For me, when I see certain days and he's right, 
he can still be an accurate passer, can still get the ball downfield. And his running ability, especially inside the 10, still makes him a difficult quarterback to prepare for. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 24. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Good job, baby. Good job. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's McCaffrey. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Behind the chain, second and 12. Newton now to throw. And that's incomplete. He used to have a coach who's tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use on paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Newton. Going deep for Benjamin. And that's caught inside the 30. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A big play that time through the air. 37 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. Now Brian Flores is going to take a chance here as he'll throw the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On first down, it's Newton. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. But he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. They fake the give, Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. So many times we've seen him trying to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Newton. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Let's and go, he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one on one us. Yeah, right there, you're right there. And man to man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing again is Newton. 
His throw incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing is Newton. And he comes back with one complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. said, listen, we're just going to stop him on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Marino sets up. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And this was a nice example of the offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath him, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Marino to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Marino's incompletion on first down leads to second and ten. Now it's Marino. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. He'll go in the books. It's a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Now Marino to throw it. 
Looking deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. It's a big play there for Miami. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, and these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got it? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. Marino on play action. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick upon his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Throwing again on second and ten. Marino over the middle, and it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Again, it's Marino. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide down, but a penalty marker down as well. And it looks like this is going to be all for now. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Here's Marino. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A big play there for the Dolphins. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield, a combination of talent and toughness to go into the briar patch. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. That time, a nine-play drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. 
The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Newton, he finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Panther football to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Across midfield and inside the 45. Let's go. Let's go. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. They'll try the air now with Newton. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The Panthers on third down. The perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, Newton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. Brad Smith. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Now Newton on first down. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Newton. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
A gain of six there on first. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. At the Dolphins 12 yard line. Second and four. Newton. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Panthers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Davis. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuck from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Davis again. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing three. And now it's third down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. The Panthers on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Newton now to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Now here's the Panthers special teams unit to try a field goal for free from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is indeed good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Miami's offense set and ready to go. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are. But with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. Mind you, in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. Going up top, and that's going to be incomplete. 
Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get, taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Marino here from the gun. He's got a first down past the 30. Dolphins are going to jump back in front. Well, for a tight end, he can definitely motor, and he shows off the wheels there after the catch as he's able to shake free. Yeah, normally when you talk about tight ends, you immediately begin talking about them rumbling down the field, but to me, he was pretty well gliding downfield there. Very athletic for a big man, and he takes this one all the way to pay dirt. Point after, right down the middle. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Newton. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. Go. Emmanuel Ogma that time, able to drop him for a loss. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you are probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball, safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. From the gun, here's Newton. Here's Benjamin with a catch. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. the 34 now. Here's first and 10. To throw is Newton. That one tipped and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively at second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Complete pass here now is second and ten. Back to throw, Newton. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, 
So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Here's Newton. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Just shy of midfield. Newton. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. I think he just made the punter a little bit jealous there. There was some serious hang time on that ball. Deep downfield, and while it didn't connect, it certainly sent a message, didn't it? So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Newton throwing again. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Here's the Panthers punter now. Back deep for Miami, Jalen Waddell. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? Wait, what's that Why? route you love? What's that oh, route you love? Four verts. Four verts. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And we'll see how aggressive they want to be in these final stages before the half. A run on first down, but it's not going to get them much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, Time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for Carolina. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. Here's Smith to return it. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
And the Panthers ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Emmanuel Agba able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. He's still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now, showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. Throwing on second and long. Newton bearing it out deep for Smith. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Airing it out for Olsen. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. Here's the Panthers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. That catch good for only a couple. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They go play action now, Marino. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. Yeah, a nice job yeah. of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Marino will throw. He finds his man complete. That's Clayton. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down go, close go, to the goal go. line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Set, 
They begin with a run by Davis. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down brings. Here we go. Fifth catch Here we go. of the game for him there. Here we go. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Out from the shadows of their goal line, here's first and 10 from the 11. Newton out of throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they finally get him down at the other 46. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's gone. He didn't pull up. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. A shotgun snap for Newton. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Newton to throw. It's complete right side to Benjamin. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This is McCaffrey. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the 17, Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it third down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that one. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First downs have not come easy, and neither of runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game.
the grab. And the Panthers are once again going to retake the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Now the try here for the point after. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And Carolina scores to cap it off. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking in at the three. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Marino. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Now Marino to throw it. And going deep for Hill. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Marino. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up, they know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Marino on play action. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's finally out of bounds, but he's taken it all the way down to the eight. It's a big play there for Miami. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused, because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points.
Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Marino to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. A great play there. It's second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. He's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there. But two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Point after here coming up. It's up and good.